What's up guys and welcome back to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Deep Sleep. As you guys know in the last video, we finished off the game and got the insane ending that left us with a lot of questions that we're going to be figuring out the answers to in a few videos here. So as you guys know, whenever we finish off a game like this, we like to start hacking it and flying around and seeing what we can find. And in today's video, we're going to be hacking the catnap boss fight and seeing what happens to his corpse. As you guys know, he gets killed and his body gets dragged into the sky or into the ceiling by the uh, experiment. And uh, we're going to know exactly where that body goes in today's video. It's going to be a fun one. Now, before we into that, of course, if you guys want to win a copy of Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, 2, and 3, all you have to do to enter something, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below saying whatever you want, and hit that subscribe button and little bell icon, and that is it. You're entered. At least that's simple, that easy, and you can enter on every single video that we do on this game. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and continue our save file. And here we go. And by the way, shout out to the beautiful, beautiful man known as Razbowski because he actually gave me his, his save file. So shout out to you. And uh, yeah, because we wouldn't be able to do this without him. Well, I'd have to play through the whole game again, which would not be fun. All right, so here we are, though, in game. Let's start by going down into this area where Ollie actually gives us some items. And then we'll start flying around after we plug this bad boy in right here. But look, I, I increased the brightness so you guys could probably actually see what's going on. Oh, that's the wrong. Okay, dude. <laughs> They tricked me with the wrong door, man. Come on. I'm trying to get in here. But yeah, look, we can actually see what's going on out here now, which is interesting because before it was super dark. All right, where do I plug this thing in at? Right here. There you go. Take that. There we go. That should be All right. Thanks, Holly. Take that huge battery. To the oh, the huge battery. Holy moly. This battery so is here. massive. It's the door by the cable got, it. On. got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thanks, Ollie. Thanks for the massive battery, dude, that I carried with me into the boss fight, by the way, which we weren't supposed to do. Oh boy. Okay, let's put that right there. And here we go. Okay, so I'm going to press this funny little button on my keyboard and uh, it might just allow us to do this. There we go. Oh my. Okay, so yeah, if you ever wondered what we looked like, that's us right there. We are invisible. <laughs> we are either a vampire or we just don't have a actual body which is kind of weird we're just a grab pack set of hands so yeah it's kind of cool though to be able to see this kind of stuff look at this so that's what we look like whenever anyone any kind of monster is looking at us this is what they see absolutely nothing all right now let's start flying around and hacking so the first thing i want to do is go straight out of the dome i want to see what it looks like what we where we are so this area right here is some fake stars and stuff like that obviously it's for whenever you're inside of the dome so it looks like you know you're outside and it's a starry night for the children but obviously if we go past that it's a giant metal dome now if we keep going out let's see okay so outside the giant metal ball dome it's another ball dude what the okay now what if i just keep going out oh, oh what's this wait a minute we got a pipe back here what is this is this how we get down here oh wait what's that no okay that's how we get down here what's this this is some kind of i don't know this might be how the gas gets into there if if you don't make it in that facility down there that we're going to or something else maybe that's like the air because obviously this place is far down in the factory but i don't know let's fly over to this though and see what this is all right so here we are at this giant metal a rectangle a square i don't know what this is dude so this is what we use to actually get down into the building now it looks a lot stranger because if you look on the outside nothing is loading it loaded in the stuff like this it only loads in whenever our character model is actually here so whenever we go away from this area we can't see it anymore it unloads it so that obviously we have better frames and the game runs a lot better that's why in a lot of areas that i'm assuming we're going to check out they probably the area actually won't be there unless our character goes to that area and it loads it in but look here's the actual cart that we go down in and there's a child's backpack right here and a book which does this say any okay no if you can read that dude i don't know man let me know in the comments there's no way anyone can read that though uh, and then the two switches that we actually pressed to get the cart started so yeah this would be the main area where the kissy missy statue is and the the escalators and stuff like that or whatever you want to call it so yeah uh, this is what it looks like when it's not loaded in now if we go ahead oh wait 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 wait, wait. i was about to teleport back what is this what is this a oh this is the vhs player is there one in this room or near it i don't know this might be an unused vhs player which is interesting all right now let's go ahead and press this funny little button again go back to our body and press it again and now we can fly around out here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually head into each of these buildings um this is the main area that we actually you know go down and it at at the start of the chapter now if we go this way though there is an interesting little area so this is like a pool area and i want to know what this is i'm assuming the children would come down here and they can swim or get on these little like ducky thingies they have little screens on them and stuff like that what about under the water is there oh there is something down here oh okay wait so this is 
operated by one of the smiling critters? Who is this, though? Is this one of the smiling critters? I don't know why I don't recognize this one. For some reason, I know there's like the, the red uh, bear and then there's the orange one and you know, there's a bunch of other ones. I don't remember this one for whatever reason. But it looks like this is his area. So it says use each pedal to steer left and right. Okay, so these are like little like go-karts, but they're little duckies that the children would go on and stuff like that. Interesting, okay. It's cool to be able to like actually go to this stuff and see it. Now here's this town hall. Wait, is that? Is there someone? Whoa, what is, th oh, okay, that's supposed to be there. I thought that was Catnap just hanging out up there. So yeah, this is the, like the Smiling Critters Town Hall area. <laughs> I don't know what this is, dude. I mean, I know what this is because we've been in here, but obviously if we go to this area. I'm assuming this isn't going to be loaded in. Yep. So this is the office, but there's nothing here. So if you guys don't know what this is, whenever we usually approach this area right here, it does a loading screen. And in that loading screen, it loads all of this. So if we want to see that, we'd have to actually physically go back and restart the chapter, which we could do if you guys want to see it and uh, go into that area and hack around in there. Now, what about in this area here? This is the toy factory that I don't think we ever really went inside of, but we can fly in here and it's empty. It's just an empty building. So yeah, what, what, what we expected though. I mean, obviously I didn't expect anything to really be in there because why would they? You know, if, if we're, our character's not going to go in there, they're not going to bother like modeling it and putting a bunch of stuff in there when we're not supposed to even be in there. Now, wait a minute. This area right here, this door right here, it usually closes whenever we approach it but it's open because i'm invisible and i'm flying now what's down here huh no how does that door close though i wonder because look if we go through here this door leads nowhere there's a brawn light dude i never realized that the lights are actually brawn that's interesting and then there's like this weird area back here with a bunch of plushies and blood and stuff what happened back here okay now wait a minute i gotta see something here if we were to go over here right and when the door closes, let's say our character is actually there. I want to know who's closing the door and if we can actually see anyone closing it. Because if we can, this could be pretty interesting. So I think it's like whenever we get relatively close here. I need to time it pretty correctly. Actually, wait. We can pause the game if I do NPCs pause. You, probably, you guys probably can't see what I'm doing right now. Um, but game paused. Okay. So I just paused the game with this button. Okay. Okay. I think we can actually do this. Hold on. So if I go up here, right? And I pause. Oh, look at this. We can pause the game. And then we fly. Yeah, that, dude, it's the ghost, man. <laughs> There's a ghost. Now, wait, wait, wait. If we unpause. Yeah, look. No one is there. No one is closing the door. How does it happen, dude? It's a ghost, man. What the? Okay, yeah. There's, there's actually nothing. I unpaused it. Do we see anything at all down here? No. It's just some kind of weird spirit, dude, that just closes the door. I, I had to know, though. I definitely had to know. Now, here's another interesting part of the game right here. So this area right here, if you don't know, is where uh, Kissy Missy and Poppy actually rescue us. They take us up this elevator, and they should be up here. But will they be? I doubt it. But let's see. Let's actually see if there's anything up here. So up in this area... Yeah, they're, they're not here. There is a giant button, though. Why is this button so massive? I need to know. That button is way too big. It's got to do something huge, but I don't know. <laughs> that button is huge, dude. Now, there is a door here. Through this door, there's nothing here, which makes sense. But it's got a poppy on it, right? That's a poppy flower, I think. Or it's some kind of flower that, you know, either has to do with the smiling critters or poppy. But I, I want to say it's a poppy flower. Obviously, it makes sense, though, because she's up here. And uh, looks like they have two chairs to just kind of, like, sit up here and and watch down here like this feels so safe to me i don't know about you guys but like in, in there's a it was jurassic park lost world i think right where they had like the tower up top that they can sit in and i always was like man that's where i'd be it feels so safe up here <laughs> it's like everything down here is awful but up there it's so safe now what about in here this is the school area where miss delight would be oh whoa there's a green box in here what why would that be here? Because I could approach this area, but I'm assuming it'd be the same thing. The door would just close. But why is there a green light in here? That's weird. That is so weird. And then, yeah, it would load in right here. Huh. That's interesting. Because I, I usually, like I said, it's to add like an ambience feature to it. But look, you can't... Oh, you can see it from outside a little bit. Yeah, that's a weird green light to the outside of the building. That's interesting, though. Very interesting. All right, let's go into this right here. This is the carnival, or the playhouse, I should say. And if we go inside, there's just a green light in here. So yeah, just a green light where obviously this is just to see, you know, add some ambience to the outside. And there's really nothing else in here. Now there is this slide right here. We go in it, 
nothing in it. <laughs> All right, let's head to the ending, though, and see what we can spot in here, because this should be pretty interesting. Okay, so let's go back over there. All right, here we go. This is where things should get interesting, because we are now loading into the final area, and I want to know if Catnap is just sitting behind this door waiting for us, because if it is, that would be pretty creepy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, in this area right here, normally you'd put in this massive battery, and it would spawn in Catnap right behind that door. Now, let's find out if it's always just there waiting for us or what's going on here. So going through, are we about to, oh, what, it's not here. Okay, that's interesting. I have another idea though. I have an idea of how we could see it. So what we do is we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna immediately pause the game. Oh my God, wait, no, it did it so fast. Okay, let's just see this thing. Oh, that is so scary. <laughs> okay, so it spawns right here. Oh my, dude, Kedab's got a huge tail. This is cool, because we've never actually seen it in the chapter. Oh, whoa, what? That's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. It, it follows me, even though I'm like a spirit. What? Oh, my gosh, man. Okay, so inside of this thing, though, this is what the inside of Catnap looks like, <laughs> if you ever wanted to know. That is weird, though. That is so weird. So if I unpause... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back to my box. Oh, no. It's eyes. Start looking at me. Run. Okay, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. That is creepy. Okay, so this is where the gas comes out of it. Oh, it's massive. You can't even tell it's that big when it's, like, under there. Okay, now, if we unpause, though, let's see, because it should transform. Oh, oh, my. Wait, so it's, like, an immediate transformation. Now, from our point of view... Look, you can't see anything. Like, well, before the transformation, it, it completely blocks him out so you can't see him. But then he fully transforms. Whoa, wait, what's on his... Oh, he's got a little, like, necklace. I never even noticed that. And what about inside of your mouth here, buddy? You got anything inside your stomach, huh? Any humans in here? No. But, man, this design is so cool. And being able to see it from this angle... Whoa, wait! Oh, I never noticed that! That is... That's a human head. That is a human head. So there, it's like signifying, or it's kind of like telling us that there's a human in here and he's still alive or he died like with his face coming out of Catnab's stomach. That is creepy. See, that's what I'm talking about, like hacking, without hacking, we would have never seen this. Or like, you know, without doing some kind of going to the game files or something. That is so cool though, to know that. All right, now what about in the room behind him? Did anything change? No. Okay, we need to go back to our body, and we need to uh, do a little bit of running. Run, run. This time, I'm not grabbing the big blue battery because we don't need it. Oh, my gosh. That's so scary. Wait, the elevator's not open. Open. Go, go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, pause, pause, <laughs> pause. Okay, let's get a look at this thing outside the elevator. All right, so pressing this funny little button, we're now able to go up here and on. Okay, I will never. Oh, I'll never be able to get over that. That is so creepy that it follows you like that because like it's it, i think it creeps me out because like the whole game is supposed to be paused right everything else in the game is paused besides cat naps ahead that oh and look there's more oh there's more heads and hands that's crazy so yeah there's people in this thing trying to get out oh so it's actively been eating live people somewhere that's cool that see like that you would never see that okay so let's go ahead and unpause going on the outside look at this <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Oh, look at that. I hope we're not supposed to do anything up there. Oh, look, this is where it goes after. So after we go up the elevator, it just sits here like this, upside down on the ceiling. How? Oh, wait a minute. It's necklace is defying gravity, dude. What the? <laughs> oh, that's cool, though. Okay, let's go back to our character. And wait a minute. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. I got left behind. What's going on here? Oh, no. I broke the game. I'm not supposed to be down here, dude. Uh, well, <laughs> I gotta restart. All right. So here we are at the top of the elevator in Catnab's dungeon. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to press the funny little button again, fly outside and see what's out here. So somewhere out here should be Catnab's body, right? Because he obviously pops out at some point in here and starts chasing us. What's this? Okay, this is just like a weird box. I don't I don't know. And there he is. <laughs> there he is. I knew you were out here somewhere. I knew it. What's this? Oh, this is... Oh, that's the grab pack hand at the end where we kill it. So that's the electricity that we eventually shoot at it. That only shows up in the cutscene, I'm assuming. But look at this thing. The giant catnap that we see roaming around. Now, it doesn't have 
feet out here, but I'm assuming whenever it gets in there, it probably grows them or something. We'll have to actually pause it in when it's in like the darkness and see but anything else out here. I don't really see anything. Uh, this area up here, I want to check this out because this is where that weird other version of Catnap spawns in. I don't think it's Catnap. Like it looks tinier than him, but let's actually go back to our character and uh, let's start this up and see. This part's always weird to me though. I feel like they're going to update it because... Right now, it's so confusing to new people. Like, like it says catnap is coming. Be ready. A lot of people don't know how to actually like fully start this thing, and that you have to sit here and like wait for it to begin. But yeah, uh, let's actually get this thing started and see what we can do here. Okay, so now that the boss fight has begun, I've paused the game. Let's actually fly around here and let's see what's out here. So here's catnap, and he does have legs, which okay to be expected. And there is two of them, which makes sense because one of them is a hallucination or maybe multiple are hallucinations, and some of them are real. You really don't know unless you use the flare gun. Going this way though, there's another one here check this out oh my gosh that face man i love the giant mouth on it it's so creepy now going over here though is there another one yep okay so there's there's like one in each corner basically there's one there one here and then two up there so one for each entrance which is uh creepy all right now here we go this is gonna be difficult but we've got to do this boss fight all over again now uh we need that thing to spawn in though that's the big thing so okay wait i actually do have another battery i don't know what this one's for like i know it provides power right but what happens if we don't have power I don't know. Let's keep that in there, though. Oh, okay. We got one coming this way. All right. So here's what we need. We need the green hand for this. Or we need the purple hand. Then we need the green hand. Quick, quick, quick. No, dude. Oh, my. Don't get stuck. This is not the time. This might be a fake one. We don't even know. But wait. Where's the battery on this? Oh, no. The battery is there. Why does it seem like... There it goes. Wait. Oh, my gosh. There's one here. Oh, we're going to lose. Wait. Why does this feel so hard? Did they update it since early access? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just panicking. Okay. That's gone. That's gone. Right. We're good. All right, 136 seconds. It's going to ask. Yep, there it is. All right, time for another battery. I don't know if we need that one or not. I'm going to say no, we don't. Okay, hold on. Keep our... Oh, crap. We're going to lose. No, no, no. Get up there. Oh, no, no, no. Get up. Wait. wait. Oh, my gosh. We're going to lose. There's so much happening. Hold on. Pause. All right. Now that this thing is here, let's see what this is. Is... Oh, so that is catnap. I don't know why it looks so much smaller. So in this version of it, though, obviously it'd peek down and kill us. Now, if I unpause, this is a bad idea. Oh, that's creepy. Look at that, dude. If I unpause again. Okay, no, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. We're going to die if I do it again. All right, we need to pull the door down. Oh, my gosh. Pull it down. Pull it down. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Oh, uh, wait. We got problems. Uh, use this. Is, this. is this real? No, it's fake. All right, this one? There's nothing here. All right, we're good. Not again, dude. This is not the time for this. Not the time. Not the time. You're going to get me killed. Okay, gone. Check. All right, bring out the flare gun. We need the flare gun. Okay, that's fake. Thank goodness. This is why the flare gun is so... Oh, there's no way. There is no way. I must have broken the game or something going up there. You do not show up this much. You normally, I feel like. Okay, here we go. Check. Okay, we're good. Okay, it needs another battery. Um, Let's use... No, I need, I need that battery in there, actually. We need that. That is super important. All right, we got to use this one. Go in there. All right, here we go. This is where things are going to get difficult because we have three different areas to watch out for here. Okay, there he is on that side. Just play it carefully here. Let's see if that one's fake. Oh, that's real. That is real. If he's going this way, we're, we're, okay, that's fake. That's also fake. What? I don't know what's happening. Just pay attention, okay? We can't. Do not panic. If we panic, we die. Okay, come on. There's there's so many of them. Maybe he's showing up here because he hasn't attacked in a while, I feel like. What's our time looking like? 60 seconds. Okay, only a minute left and then we're good. Uh, it, that's like the smallest amount of time at any other moment than right now. <laughs> like 60 seconds if we're just hanging out watching TV or like, you know, YouTube videos, it flies by. But in this moment, it goes so incredibly slow. Okay, here we go. This is bad. In. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. I'm watching every direction. We should have 40 seconds. Okay. We got this. I have to beat this to be able to hack and see what happens to Catnap's body and see if we can actually see the experiment, you know? That's the big thing here. I want to see if the hand is actually up there and, and what's going on with all that. Okay, come on. 27 seconds. He's not attacking. Isn't this kind of weird? Like, something is off here. It might be because of the hacking program I'm using because I paused the game. It might have broken him because, look, he is just... Yeah, like, we're, we're good. <laughs> okay, hey, look. If you're having a problem with the boss fight, just download this and you're good to go. <laughs> it just completely breaks the boss fight. Which could be bad, though, because that could mean it's also going to break the ending. But let's see. Oh, crap. I got to use my hand. Dude, imagine you die to this. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Okay. Whoa, 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 buddy. All right. Let's see what happens here. So, my head is crooked. 
Uh, but going up, oh my gosh, this thing is so massive. Now, is the experiment already up here? Is the hand somewhere around here? No, it looks like right now it's only catnap here and nothing else. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to be pausing and resuming quite a bit here. But resume. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. That's great. Wait, oh, my grab pack hand is there. Okay, interesting. Now resume. And we don't want to do this too quick. So obviously he's approaching and then we would use... Oh, wait a minute. That might have broken something. Okay, so here we go. Down on the ground. He ate us. Unpause. Oh, wait, no. I was supposed to use the hand. I forgot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, where does this start us? Does this start us right at the end or do I have to do that whole fight again? Please tell me there's a save file right there. Oh, fatal. Oh, my gosh. I crashed the game. I crashed the game. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, guys, I did it again, and uh, this time they were not broken. Wait, no. Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't. No, I didn't do it again. I didn't do it again. Oh, my God, I did. I did. Holy, I almost lost right there. That was close. All right, so we need to shoot this thing. Now we need to pause it, okay? Now we pause it. Wait a minute. Oh, no. It's burning. Okay, maybe I shouldn't pause it. I'm breaking the game. I don't want it to crash again, so we're going to go ahead and pause it whenever the hand shows up. There's the hand. We pause. We go up here. And, yep, it's just a giant claw. So this is definitely attached to some kind of super giant, you know, robot creature. Because look how big this thing is. There's blood on it, too. All right, let's go ahead and play it. I want to see where his body goes after this. And uh, we kind of broke the game, though. So hopefully this doesn't mess anything up. So, yeah, it puts its hand out. And this is where we get the death of Catnap. Which, look, my hand is still on its shoulder. Kind of interesting to see that. Boom, right through the mouth. There's no volume because we broke it all right and then get ready we pause it hold on let's get in place here so yeah this is catnap obviously with the hand through its mouth now if we go up with it wait wait are we, are we gonna see it up here i think we should right oh look at that oh there it is he <laughs> comes through the shadow dude oh there's the hand though that is so interesting though to see this okay now if we keep playing it goes up even further and I think it's just going to disappear into... Yep, it goes up into here. And I think it's just going to disappear. Because, look, the hand goes right here. Come on, let's keep playing. Yep, and there goes the body. It goes straight into the sky. And then it's gone. So you don't obviously get to see the experiment, which is what we figured here. But, oh, wait, what the? It's like a long neck for a second. And that's it. There is no experiment up there, which makes sense. Because, obviously, if we could see the experiment by hacking, that'd be insane. You know, like, that'd be crazy. So, yeah, there's nothing there. All right, so the only thing left to do is uh, one last thing, which we're going to do in the next video because this one's been going on for long enough. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to hack to the end of the game, the end of the end of the game, and we're going to see what happened to Kissy Missy. And we're going to restart our game and see if we can find any other things to, like, see and, and see what's going on. Like, see if we can find Huggy Wuggy inside the TV and stuff like that. We have a lot more to do, so stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.